in this video, we will go a little bit more deeper into exactly how does a call option work. You want to buy a car. Okay. All right. Which car do you like? This right to buy is what? Is nothing but a call option contract. What could happen? The price uh, yeah. may yeah. rise up. Huh? Or? May go down. Or? Stay the same. Exactly. Yeah. These are the three outcomes. You will run towards the dealer yes. and say, hey. You had promised me to give me this car. Come on, now yes. give me. Yeah. So your profit is exactly equal to his loss. Mm -hmm. So if you feel Nifty will go above 23,520, only then it will make sense for you yes. to buy this call option. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this series of options trading, in the earlier video, we learned about calls and puts. And in this video, we are going to learn about the profits and losses and how to calculate them in a particular call option. Before we move on to the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Use our strike platform and let's see what you have got. So uh, we've learned uh, just the basics about what is a call option and a put mm -hmm. option. Uh, but uh, in this video, what we will do is we will uh, go a little bit uh, more deeper into exactly how does a call option work. And uh, then we will understand how to calculate, you know, profits and losses out of, you know, buying a call or selling a call. Namisha, let me take you to this uh, one example, you know, to help you understand exactly what is a call option. Okay. All right. What is a call option? Contract. Imagine you want to buy a car. Okay. All right. Which car do you like? BMW. All right. So BMW, that car would be uh, roughly around, let's say, 50 lakh rupees mm. uh, or a base model. Now, when you go to a showroom, Will the dealer give you the car right away? No. No. He will say that you'll have to wait for around three months. Hmm. All right. And then he'll give you the desired color and the desired car. Yeah. But for that, he will ask you to give a token. Maybe hmm. this token is a non-refundable uh, token that you will have to give. All right. So let's say you, Nimisha, you go to a car dealer. All right. And you say that I want to buy a car. Okay. All right. But hmm. the dealer says you'll have to wait. Now the dealer, uh, but you are very sure that mm -hmm. you want to buy. So what you give is, you give, let's say, 10% yeah. of the car value hmm. up front as a token, non-refundable deposit or a token or whatever you say. So let's say you give 5 lakh rupees, okay, hmm. as a token. Okay. Token in return, know. in return, as soon as you give 5 lakh rupees to the dealer, in return, what he will give you? Uh, some percentage. Like... No, he will give you a promise. Yeah, of course. Yeah, a yeah, promise. Yeah. Hmm. Promise to do what? Promise to sell this car at 50 lakh rupees after yes. three months. Yes, yes. Yes or no? Yeah. So, when you give 5 lakh rupees token, mm -hmm. you get a promise. Yes. Or, in other words, you get a right mm -hmm. to buy the car at 50 lakh rupees, which is predefined mm -hmm. at a particular point of time. Yes. Did you understand? Hmm. So, this right that you got, you are called as a buyer of this right. Yes. And the dealer is called seller. as a seller of this right. Hmm. Correct? So, this right to buy is what? Is nothing but a call option contract. Okay. So, you are a call option buyer. The dealer is a call option seller. seller. Now, understand. You, you've got this contract done. Hmm. All right. Now, after three months, what could happen? The price uh, yeah. may yeah. rise up huh? or may go down or stay the same. Exactly. Yeah. These are the three outcomes. Hmm. So let's say the car that you know you have booked, you know the demand of that car goes up. You know, very limited edition. Uh, you know, across the world, uh, the car, the number of cars are very limited. So because of that, the demand for the car increases, and yes. when the demand increases, what happens? The price. Increases. The price of the car also increases. So let's say after. Three months. After three months, what happens is the car, current current market price initially at the time of the contract. So this car over here, you know what this car is called as? This car is called as underlying asset. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Underlying mm. asset is the car, which is the price of this car is rupees. 50 lakhs. 50 lakhs for which you gave a 5 lakh rupees token to get a right to buy the car at 50 lakh rupees. Mm. Now, after three months, let's say the car price, you know, increased to rupees, uh, let's say, 65 lakhs. Yeah, because the demand was very high. Mm. Now, what shall you do? 
after the car after three months when you see that the market price of that car is 65 lakhs that you have booked mm. you will run towards the dealer yes. and say hey you had promised me to give me this car come on yes. now give me yeah Yes or no? Hmm. Now, in this case, can dealer say no? No, because he, he has, has ab- yes. uh, accepted yes, the five lakhs. Yes, so that yeah. accepted meaning what? He is now obligated. Hmm. Yeah, The seller of this call option, the dealer is obligated to sell you this car yes. at 50 lakh rupees. Hmm. All right, why? Because he has taken five lakh rupees token from you, right? Yes. Now, this token over here, okay, let me tell you this token over here is called as premium. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now, what will happen is after three months, when you exercise your right, meaning you will say that okay, mm. take this call option contract. Let's settle this. So, what will uh, what will happen is now, Nimisha and the dealer. Now, Nimisha will give how much money? Forty five. 50 lakhs. 50. That was a premium that, that was you a had premium. paid. Okay. So you yeah, will give 50, 50 lakh rupees to the dealer, mm. and the dealer in turn will give you this car. I hope. <laughs> okay, please ignore my drawing. Okay. But this car is worth right now 65, 65. lakhs. So, there right? is a loss. Now, nah, yes. Before, the before, forget the dealer. Okay. Think about you. Yeah. All right. First, think about you. Yes. So, for you, from this deal, you paid 50 lakh rupees. Mm-hmm. But in return, you got 65 lakh rupee worth of goods. That is yes. the car. So, your profit from this is how much? 15. 15 lakhs. But don't forget that you had given this 5 lakhs earlier. So minus 5 lakh rupees, that is a total of 10 lakh lakh rupees. uh, uh, 10 lakh rupees is your profit. profit. Hmm. Did you understand your profit from this particular contract? Yes. Now similarly, now let's think of the dealer. This dealer, he got 50 lakh rupees. Hmm. But he gave goods worth 65 lakh rupees. So his loss is 15 lakh rupees. But he had taken this 5 lakh rupees earlier from you. Mm. So that is his 10 lakh rupees loss. loss. So your profit is exactly equal to his loss. Mm. Correct. Now let's take the second scenario. Where after 3 months, all right, car price came down to let's say uh, 40 lakhs. Yeah, why? Maybe because you know there was some faulty car, uh, mm. fault in that car. And because of that, the supply... Uh, was there but there was no demand or maybe you know uh, another company came out with a in a similar model and because of the competition the prices of this car mm. reduced to 40 lakhs now what would you do you have a right to buy the car at 50 lakh rupees yes would you and now after three months the market price of that same car is 40 lakh 40 rupees lakh. so would you go to the same dealer and try say exercise your right no, because I have already paid him Absolute. 5 lakh rupees and that would but be my loss. That would be gone, yes, right? The market price of the car is right now 40 lakhs. Hmm. So rather than going to the same dealer, you would probably go anywhere else. Anywhere else yes. Or even if you go to the same dealer, it will not make sense for you to buy the same car at, at 50, 50 lakh rupees. 50 lakh rupees, correct. Right. So what you would do, you would let, you would let your 5 lakh rupees premium okay, that you had got you would let this go. Correct. And that itself would be your loss. Loss. Hmm. All right. And in that case, the dealer will make this 5 lakh rupees profit. Correct. Hmm. Let's suppose the car price is not 40 lakhs. It went down to 30 lakhs. Hmm. Would you go to the dealer? No. No. So, irrespective of the price, if the car price is the underlying asset price, if how much ever it goes down, what would be your maximum loss? The premium that the premium paid. that you have paid that is five lakh rupees and that is your maximum possible loss. Yes. But what if the car prices instead of you know going to sixty five lakhs it went up to by seventy five lakhs? Hmm. What would happen is you would get car worth seventy five lakh rupees. You would go and exercise right. Yes. You will give fifty lakhs. You will uh, get car worth seventy five lakhs hmm. and that would be your you know uh, from this you will get your twenty five lakh profit. 25 lakh profit minus 5 lakh rupees the token 20. that you have got. So that will be your 15, 15 lakh rupees profit total. And this 15 lakh profit would be 15 lakh rupee loss for the dealer. So now, did, did you understand? This is a call option. Nimisha, you are the buyer and the dealer was a seller. All right. If the car prices, okay, the underlying asset price goes up, 
your profits will keep on increasing yes. as and when the prices keeps on going up so you can say potential unlimited profits you will enjoy yes all right and whatever your profits are we it would be a loss sellers, for the seller yeah, so he loss. has a potential unlimited losses loss. hmm. right yeah now if the price goes down you would make a loss but your loss is limited to the premium that up to the paid. premium paid yes up to yeah. the premium paid paid hmm. and that is your seller's limited profit up to the premium that i have paid up to Or the premium received, received by him received by him yeah hmm. right so this is a call option did you understand yep so now um let's let's understand where would you break even hmm. okay so let's assume you have paid a token of 5 lakh rupees hmm. all right now what if the car prices did not move at all initially the car prices was 50 lakhs hmm. now also it is 50 lakh rupees so in this case what would you make a profit or a loss it would be equal na no loss loss of 5 lakh absolutely rupees. see if if the car price is 50 uh, 50 yes. lakh rupees only so you will pay 50 lakh rupees to the dealer he will give you car worth 50 lakh rupees but those so no profit no loss but okay. this 5 lakh rupees is your loss yes so for you it will make sense only and only if the underlying asset price that is the car the bmw car that you wish if that price from 50 lakh rupees it goes up by another 5 lakh rupees only then you will again mm. break even so if the car is 55 lakh rupees so in this case if the car value becomes 55 lakh rupees you will pay 50 lakh rupees to the dealer dealer will give you 55 lakh rupees worth of a car mm. so here you will make 5 lakh rupees profit but 5 lakh rupees token will nullify it and you will make no profit no loss yes. similarly the dealer will also make a no profit no, profit, no loss, no loss. right yeah so now let let me uh, take you to the strike platform over here yep in this particular strike platform let's look at one option right let's look at option chain and in this option chain we'll we'll take up nifty itself all right hmm. so instead of a car now think of nifty all right so let's suppose 23400 call option okay with the price is at 120 rupees so what will happen price is uh, the strike price that is 23400 that is you know in 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 our uh, previous example over here okay let me also tell you one uh, terminology so the dealer had given you a promise that he will sell you the car at 50 lakh rupees hmm. so that 50 lakh rupees is called as a strike price okay okay now in this particular example let's suppose the strike price of nifty is 23400 for which the premium is 120 rupees i am rounding it off hmm. yeah instead of 119.45 let's say 120 rupees so now if you feel that nifty okay after you know when is the expiry 20. the expiry price is over here 23rd of january okay today is 20 uh, 20th of january so you have 3 days to hmm. expiry meaning on expiry the contract will get uh, expire you know yeah. what the dictionary meaning of yes. the word expire is right so it will get settled everything will get settled so if you feel in next 3 days if nifty can go about 23400 plus 120 that is 23520 yeah okay so if you feel nifty will go above 23520 only then it will make sense for you yes. to buy this call option are you understanding yes yes right yeah. so you know uh, when to buy a call option that generally people ask hmm. right you will buy call option when you expect the prices of underlying to expire above the strike the, price hmm. plus the premium paid only yes. then the call option buyer would make profit correct all right but hmm. if the prices expire anywhere below that strike price plus premium hmm. if nifty or any underlying asset expires below that the call option buyer would tend to lose so in that case the call option buyer should not exercise clear yeah yeah so that was about the call option i hope uh, i have given you you know the explanation in a very simple uh, but effective manner yes and i really like the example Great. of a car and it was very helpful for me to understand thank you so much zubin and that was a fantastic explanation and i have really learned a lot from here and viewers 
Let us know in the comments what have you learned from this video. Go through the previous videos as well. You'll get to know from where did we begin this journey. And like, share and subscribe to our channel so that we get more motivated to prepare more such wonderful videos.